How to Address a Wedding Invitation to an Unmarried Man Hello and welcome to Video Jug. You finally found the perfect location for your wedding. You set the date. You even set the menu. It's all smooth sailing from here, right? Not exactly, because now you have to properly address your invitations. Traditional wedding address etiquette is very precise. But don't worry, we will help you through this sometimes confusing process and still get to the ceremony on time. You will need your wedding guest list with addresses, a new name and address list with the proper wording, and a calligrapher or business which does machine calligraphy. Step 1. Determine the status of your guest. Is he married, single, divorced, widowed? Is he a medical doctor or have a PhD? It's essential that you know the answers to these questions. Step 2. Determine the outer envelope address. Okay, he's an unmarried male and not a doctor. So on the outer envelope, that's the one the postman will see, you will address it as Mr. First name, last name, and then the address. And remember, no matter how nicely addressed and pretty the invitation is, it will not get there if you send it to the wrong address. So make sure you have the right address. Step 3. Determine the inner envelope address. Now it's time to address the inner envelope which holds the actual wedding invitation. Here you will address it as Mr., last name, and guest if applicable. Step 4. Take the list to your calligrapher to print. When you have finished with your address list, all you have left to do is give it to your calligrapher to address the envelopes. If the cost of hand calligraphy is an issue, keep in mind that many stationery shops offer machine calligraphy, which looks very similar to hand calligraphy, but costs much less. Done. Congratulations! Your invitations will soon be in the mail, and all you have to do now is continue the real wedding planning.